is chaos over essential oils. We tried to get the ethical spoils over the supply chain. So fucking cheesy. Right, this is why I don't eat cashews. All these vegans are like ethical, ethical for the animal, animal. Right, fuck your face, dude. Right, they went. They they used to protest in front of McDonald's in Union Square, but now that they got vegan options, they're in there. Right, they don't care that there's meat getting cooked right next to their fucking soy patty or uh, pea protein, pea protein isolate. Right, what is in here? Soy protein isolate, right? These fucking things. I'd rather get the Bubba Burger. It's great. It might not be organic. At least it's grass fed. Right, frozen. Bubba Burger. Alright, throw that shit on the grill with some cheese on it. Right, what's wrong with it? It's fucking meat. I'm just glad it ain't a human. You know, that's why I started. Getting back into the fishing when I moved up in the mountain. Because I started looking at the can, even the can of tuna. I'm like, this could be a fucking human, and I have no idea. So they got technology to have, like, holograms on the stage, but they don't have technology to make something taste a certain way. All right, Benefit tried to warn us. Couldn't find any natural food to eat. Only chemicals and chewed the meat, right? It's like a, it's like a gaslight. You know, I don't mean to. These aren't my favorite words. When the gaslight, the miscreants always try to invoke negative energy coming from me, but it's just another projection. <laughs> they are losers, dude. They they know they're such a loser that they gotta lie, cheat, and do the dumb shit to to even succeed. But then when God comes to pay them back with some satanic fuck face to like really bite their head off, and then they see that the angel they had attached to them, who was protecting them, isn't some fucking etherical being that you can't fucking see. Right? It's me right next to you, you fucking idiot. Well, right, you got your demon in the other room giving you poison. And then you want to give your angel poison. Because you still want your angel around. And then when your angel sees you poisoning yourself and wants to get away, you want to give it something that it needs, right? You give the angel something it needs to keep it around you. Because you want to see it wounded. Right? You'd rather see your angel getting wounded in your fucking clutches instead of letting it go and you love it. It's crazy crazy, right, you love something, you should let it go, like I do, like I always did, if I loved you, and you didn't want to be around me, and it felt like some fucking nonsense to be around me, and we always arguing, and guess what, I, I left, when that would be the case, I would leave you, I'd leave your circumference, and be like, sorry, I don't want to fucking argue no more, sorry, bye-bye,